Hi everybody, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm just back with another um, Simple Sunday video and today we're going to make if I can get it, a waterfall card now I messed this one up a little bit because it was only my first try but um, one of my lovely downlines, Steph, she actually made one a few days ago and I thought it was beautiful so I was going to have a go at making one myself so that's what we're going to make and I'm using flower shop I'm using a few of the flowers and thankful thoughts and I'm using that sentiment there and we're going to make it in different colours my favourite colour night of navy and whisper white so you're going to need a piece um, which is four by five and a quarter some DSP which is three and seven eighths <clears throat> by five and one eighth you're going to need four pieces of night of navy which are two by two inches and four which are one and three quarters by one and three quarters a piece which is four by one inch and this piece which is nine by two and a card base which I haven't <laughs> I haven't prepared um so this is four by five and a quarter so whatever card base you can put yours on because I stupid me I haven't I thought I'd done it and I haven't um so we're gonna start with our little pieces of whisper white and we're just gonna stamp them with some of the stamps from flower shop And I'm just using Night of Navy ink for this. Let's get a bit of scrap. Okay, and just stamp them in the middle. It. and I'm just gonna change the stamp so I'm gonna have like four different flowers And the last one, there we go. And what we're going to do now is with some. nail I've bought a silicon craft sheet and honestly they're amazing if you haven't got one you need to get one because nothing sticks to it so they're just fab and the Knight of Navy we're gonna attach these to the Knight of Navy
Okay, just get them nice and straight if you can. Just like that, okay? So what we're going to do now is the 9 by 2 we're going to do a bit of scoring on this. So I'm just going to get the scoreboard. And we are going to score it at 2 inches on the long side. 2 and 3 quarters. 3 and a half and four and a quarter okay and just give them a little fold so now we're just going to take our knight of navy and our dsp and we're going to attach that on so again i'm just going to use some snail for this just like that and now what we're going to do is our little 4x1 is going to go just across there but you just need to att attach it temporarily but actually we'll do that in a minute so I've got a one inch circle punch and on the bottom I'm just going to punch about a quarter of the way in And then taking the bit that we've just scored, if you start at, because of what's going to happen is that's going to go on there and it's going to get slotted down like that, okay? So what we need to do is we need to start sticking our little squares that we've just done so if you just take some tape because you only want to put it just right along the very top so you've got your pattern there and then I'll show you what I mean just put a small piece of tape just along the top like that okay and just do that with all of them And we can start sticking these on now so just peel the back and off and you just want to stick the first one I'm just checking I'm doing this right yeah so you want to just put it just on the score line just like that Okay, so you still you could still lift it up because obviously you've only stuck it on the top on the air uh, a bit of tape just there and just do that with them all. Just move up to the next line, place that there. The next one move up to the third line. And the last one just move up to the last line okay so you should have that and now we're just going to put a little bit of snail just on the end here just a little bit and I'm going to work out where I want this so 
probably about there and then that is going to go in there like that okay so what we need to do now is pop a little bit of tape just here and we can take this off and stick this on properly and actually for that I'm just going to use a bit of fuse okay so stick this down you only want you only want your tape on the sides obviously because if you put it all the way along you won't get your um your little piece in okay and then peel this off <clears throat> and pop this bit down and then take it to the bottom where you've um try and get it straight take it right to the bottom where it looks nice and straight and then just stick that bottom one down onto there and with a bit of luck there we go and then what I'm going to do is I've got some of the whisper white ribbon and I'm just going to cut a little piece off I'm just going to fold it over and I'm just going to attach it to there with a little stapler that I've got so pull it out because you don't want to attach it to anywhere else just the um, the bottom of the blue of the flap just like that and that's a little thing for them to pull so I'm just going to shorten this a bit and I was going to stamp a sentiment on here but I think I could do it with the the white craft ink I've got the whisper white craft ink and the sentiment from thankful thoughts and we'll stamp this just on here so if you just pull oh it's come off hang on we'll start again so just pull that down and I'm going to stamp it about there Okay, that looks lovely. Let that dry off a little bit. And I've got some of the little pearls and rhinestones and I think I'm going to use pearls. <coughs> And I just want to put one pearl on each side of of just just there just gives it sets it off a little bit it should be dry now you'll see it go go lighter when it's dry the craft ink does and there we go I hope you like it. I think it's um, really, really pretty. It looks lovely with blue. And like I say, I would then I would then mount this onto a whisper white card base, which is what I should have done. But <laughs> never mind. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. 
um, I'll be back again next week with some more videos so thanks for watching and bye for now